Hi everyone, in the last video we finished blocking in the entire painting. Now I'm going to introduce some clouds into the sky and taking inspiration from my view out the window here, I'm going to mix up some titanium white with just a touch of cadmium yellow. And I'm going to introduce some lighter regions to the sky in two or three places. And I'm just going to work the brush back and forth to soften the edges as I apply the paint. Next I'm going to use a mix of Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Blue and Titanium White to introduce some regions of darker cloud into the sky. And again, I'm working the brush back and forth on the paper. And allowing those uh, dark regions to slightly overlap the lighter areas that I put in before. And as the paint runs out on the brush, I'm just pushing a little harder getting all these delicious dry brush effects. One of my favourite techniques in painting is the dry brush effect because you get such a variety of marks that you can't get in other ways. It's always a little bit unpredictable. But you can be really expressive using this simple technique. Next I'm using a mix of, don't know if you can see that, okay let me just bring that closer, we're using a mix of uh, Silurian Blue, Magenta and Titanium White and then I've put just a little streak of tit pure Titanium White along the narrow edge of my brush and I'm going to apply that now like this and you can see that little hit of white just gives a burst of colour, burst of white I should say on the edge of the paint that I've applied. And we were talking about colours in grass and plants in a previous video, but if you just sort of sit back or lie back and look at the sky on a cloudy day, especially if there have been storms or are about to be storms, the range of colours that you'll see is, is quite incredible. Um, with the exception of green, you can put pretty much any colour you want into a cloud um, and you know you can get realistic effects. And now using that same colour, but with much more titanium white in the mix. Just going to put some lighter clouds in the foreground. And that's our sky pretty much established. So hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all or need any further information, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching.